back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for joining me today. If you're new, welcome. If you're already an existing subscriber, of course, welcome back and thank you for your support. Um, so today I'm going to be doing some dupes of some high-end products I've seen online, which I would quite like, but I thought I would try and recreate them using Poundland um, products. So the first one, I'm going to be using this glass vase, which was a pound. I'm also going to be using a packet of these pearls, which I've already kind of started using, um, and they were a pound, and I'm going to be using a can of spray paint. So I'll put the item on screen now that I'm going to try and dupe, so you can have a look. Okay, so I'm going to start off by cleaning the vase, just to, so that in case there's any dirt on it or grease, and it means the little gems won't stick. So I'm just going to be using some of this um, rubbing alcohol, which I've had, I already had, I had it in my sort of nail collection. And I use it quite a lot when I'm crafting as well. So I'm just going to give the vase a rub down to remove any sort of dirty marks or grease or anything like that that the glue or the spray paint might not sort of stick to. Go right around the top as well. So that's nice and clean. Now that I've got the camera in the right position, I'm just going to start by randomly sticking some of these little pearl gems on. I'm just kind of the look I'm going for is like the country look, which I quite like. So I'm going to, I'm saying randomly stick them on. I'm going to do them so they're like equally spaced apart. I will do a time lapse on this part of the video because I won't make you sit through me sticking pearls on for the next 20 minutes. Hopefully it won't take 20 minutes actually. So that's what it looks like now. So now I'm just going to take it outside and I'm going to spray paint it and I'll show you what it looks like. I'll take you into the garden with us. I'm now in the garden and I've just put it on the table and I'm going to spray a little bit of primer just to give it a key. I'm trying to hold my phone at the same time. Just a light spray. I'm still using the primer just until I get it all covered and this is just the Wilkinson's primer which I already had That's nicely dried now and there's kind of no runs or anything like that on it. So now I'm going to go in with the Poundland Auto Spray Paint and again I'm just going to do like thin coats. And I'll kind of keep turning it as I'm doing it. It's a really nice sunny day so it won't take two minutes to dry really in between coats. Here 
on the left we have the lightning vaults vase which is a whopping 65 pound against mine on the right which only cost three pound i've placed it i was going to do it in the dining room but i just thought it looked nice on that mirror tray in the living room for the next DIY, I'm going to be making a candle holder, like a rustic style, and I'll insert the picture of the high-end one now, and then I'll explain what I'm going to be doing as the dupe. So I'm going to be using one of these pots from Poundland, which I got at Christmas, and as you can see, I, I did store hot chocolate on it, in it, rather, and I'm going to be using an old candle which was a jar candle, which I think I got from maybe B&M or Home Bargains. So I'm going to be using the jar from that. So I've just used, used some rubbing alcohol to get rid of the sticker from it. So it's nice and clean. I've got my hot glue gun plugged in. So I'm just going to give this quick clean over. And I'm going to stick the lid down. So I'm just going to put a little bit of hot glue around the rim. So I can hold it in place. The good thing is when you're using hot glue as well, it's not really permanent. So at any point, if you want to repurpose this jar, you can just remove the hot glue and it just kind of peels away. So I'll just put that back on and hold it in place for a second. And it dries so quick so you can work with it straight away. I'm not even going to bother removing the stickers. I've also got some of this rope, which I got from the range. So basically up to now, I had this, I had that in my craft supply and I've used that candle. So it has cost me literally nothing. I had everything in store. So now I'm just going to start with the rope by wrapping it around the bottom. So I'm just going to put a little dot of hot glue to hold it in place. And then I'll just kind of put a little bit more glue as I'm going around just as I get started. I hope you can see what I'm doing all right. To get the first row in place. As I get towards the end of the first row, I'm going to slightly move it up over to start the second row. the entire part of the bottom of the pot with this rope now and I'm just going to use a little bit of hot glue and pop that in the centre and hold it in place for a couple of seconds. I'm now going to insert a couple of photos. So the one on the left is the Nordic High End Hurricane Lamp and that is a whopping £99 against mine which cost me absolutely nothing as I had the stuff in stock but it would have cost a couple of pounds. My third DIY is using these candlesticks that I got from Poundland. So that is the three pound one. And that is the both um, mercury glass. Um, so yeah, that is the three pound one and that is the pound one. And my plan was, actually I'll show you the one that I've already done. And I have this in my lounge. So I've basically just put one of those little glass doorknobs on the top, hot glued it on and hot glued a jar candle on there. And that's what it looks like. And I just think it looks so much more and it looks really pretty with the hand, the crystal handle on the top. 
I've also got another one in my lounge, which is just one of these, again, Poundland candles. Uh, this was reduced to £3 at Christmas, but they still have them in. And I think the £5 at the moment. Um, and I'm currently burning one of these. And my plan was to do the DIY using the one I had used up today. But it's still burning. I don't really want to waste it and throw it out. But what I didn't really like the lid. I just thought it just looked nothing with that bit of black squash dripping on. So again, I just cleaned it all up and put a door handle on, a little doorknob, and I just think that looks so much nicer. And at, at the moment, I've currently got it sitting on one of the Poundland candles, so it kind of looks like that. And yeah, it just totally jazzes it up. I think it's really nice. Another option is to use it as like a little hurricane jar a hurricane lamp rather so you've got that for a pound and i picked that up in my haul the other day i think you actually seen that and that was either 169 or 179 and i just think that looks so pretty it looks so much more than two pounds 79 um, and you could put a nice little tea light in there and it would just look so pretty a couple of those either side of the fire um for 279 i don't know if you can see it the way the light's catching it but it's it's really really pretty um Another option, which I was actually going to show you today, was to use up the one I've used up. My plan was to actually wash it out, get rid of all the labels and everything like that, and then use some salad tape as a lattice to go across the top to make like a sort of, I don't know, like lattice, I suppose. So salad tape, both sides, and then back and back and forward that way. I'm not explaining this very well. And then put some white roses like low in the top and stick it on on there and i think that would be a really nice centerpiece if you wanted to make it taller you could stick it onto that one and um, with the white roses in you could even do those for wedding flowers they would be really nice because they would be tall enough on the table um or short enough if you put it on that one um with the right white roses on so that's what i will intend that's what i do intend to do with the the jar that i'm actually burning at the moment which should be done in a couple of days so maybe i can do that video next weekend or something like that but that was kind of the plan and i just i just wanted to show you um because i did say i had three diys so i wanted to show you the idea that i had that i've not been able to do because obviously the candle's still burning um but yeah i just think adding a little door handle doorknob to the top of a candle jar just makes it look so much more pretty and just offers something a little bit more it just makes it look more expensive and i've inserted a photo of the tilbury candlestick which is an eye water on 44.99 against my budget version and to be honest i actually like mine better i think um mine just looks a little bit more glam um so yeah that actually concludes my video i really do hope you've enjoyed it if you have don't forget to give me the thumbs up like and subscribe i am currently running a competition at the moment and it's a high street voucher and that's on my last video so if you would like to be entered into that all you've got to do is press two buttons one subscribe and um, hit the bell notification and obviously let me know that you've actually you've entered so that i can add you into the draw and i'm going to do that next sunday live so yeah so bye till next time